good day student welcome back to our class today we are going to learn addition of two digit and a one digit number now in the previous video we have learned forward counting like adding by counting forward but today we are going to learn adding with two steps first with ones place and then tens place so now what we are going to do is first we are going to add the numbers in the ones place now 54 plus 5 so now what we are going to do first step we are going to see the ones place now o stands ones place and t stands tens place so let's add first ones place four ones plus five ones is how much let's count four ones plus five ones four let's count four five six seven eight nine so four four ones plus five ones is nine ones now let's go to the tens place five There is only one number like five tens. So what is the answer? Fifty nine. Now next example. Just see first the number below ones zero and nine. So zero plus nine is equal to nine ones. And nine in the tens place is nine tens. So answer is ninety nine. The answer is ninety nine. Next example: eighty six plus three. First, we will add only ones. Six ones plus three ones is how much? Let's count forward. Six. Keep in the mind. Six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine ones. Is there any number below eight? No. So only eight tens. So eight tens. I'm going to write eight tens. So what is the answer now? Eighty nine. Okay. So now we are going to learn addition of two digit number without regrouping. Now. Sixty-three plus thirty-six. So here we can't do the forward counting like sixty-three. Keep in mind and forward counting thirty-six. So now what we are going to do? We are going to separate it from ones and ten. So first we are going to add only ones place like three ones plus six ones. So how much three ones plus six ones? Which is the bigger number now? Three or six? Yes, six is the bigger number. Now six, keep in your mind, and count forward three times, like six, seven, eight, nine. So three ones plus six ones is nine ones. Now let's take tens place. Six tens plus three three tens is how much? Yes, six, seven. Eight and nine is nine tens. So what is the answer? Ninety nine. So let's move on to the next example. Next is forty six plus twenty. Now let's see the number stands below ones place. So this is your ones and tens. So below ones is six. Six ones plus zero ones. So what is the answer? Six plus zero is equal to six ones. As I told you all in the previous video, also zero has no value. Now we'll see the tens place below tens place is four plus two is four tens plus two tens is how much? Four. Keep in mind four. Let's take two finger four, five, 
6. So 6 tens. So what is the answer? 66. Now let's move. Next is 61 plus 27. Now what we are going to do first? We are going to add first one's place. Always remember student, always starting the addition, we have to add first one's place and then tens place. Now one's place is one one plus seven ones. So one one and seven one is eight. Now tens place will take six tens plus two tens is how much? Six keep in your mind. And then let's count forward after six. Six, seven, eight. So is eight. 10. So what is the answer? 88. Now we are going to learn story problem. It's also called word problem. Now let's read. There are 15 tulips and 11 marigolds in the garden. How many flowers are there in all? Now what they are asking? How many flowers are there all together? Now all together in all is all addition. Now how many there are how many tulips? There are 15 tulips. So now we are going to write the number in the place of ones and tens. So from the right hand side, 5 we are going to write in the place of ones. And from the left hand side, one number we are going to write in the place of Tens. So, 15 tulips and how many marigolds? Yes, 11 marigolds. So we are going to write 11. So now, now, how many flowers are there all together? So we are going to add. So addition sign. Let's count from the place of ones first like 5 ones plus 1 1 is how much? Yes, 6 ones. Next, tens place 1 10 plus 1 10 is how much? 1 10 plus 1 10 is 2 10. The answer is 26. So, how many flowers are there in the garden all together? Yes, there are 26 flowers all together in the garden. Next example, Tara has 24 balloons. How many balloons does Tara has? 24 balloons. Neetu has 32 balloons. Now, how many balloons does they have all together? So again addition. So now 24 balloons. Tara has 24 balloons. So 4 in the place of 1s and 2 in the place of 10s. Now next Neetu has 32 balloons. Neetu has 32 balloons. So 30 Now we are going to add addition sign. Now 30, 24 plus 32. So let's add first in the place of ones. Now 4 ones plus 2 ones is how much? 4 keep in mind and count 2 times 4, 5, 6. It's six ones. Now, two ten, two ten plus three ten is how much? Yes, two ten plus three ten is five ten. Now, what is the answer? Fifty six. Now, how many balloons does they have all together? Now, they have fifty six balloons all together. Students, 
I hope you all have understood the concept of addition. So keep practicing.